Thanks, guys. The first negotiation between Nottingham SU and SU administration kicked off last night in room 120 at Kraus Heinz Hall. Nottingham SU says that 15 organizers, three faculty members, two parents, and their legal counsel attended the meeting. At least eight SU administrators were in attendance. About 30 minutes in, Assistant Provost Amanda Nicholson apologized for how students were treated during the protests. Some topics that were discussed include changes to the multicultural learning community application process, the chancellor's response to calls for resignation of senior administrators, the tuition freeze demand, and whether or not SU can disclose the identities of those who committed bias incidents. The discussion last night was audio recorded. We have some of that recording for you now. Well, I was one of the people responsible, and so was other senior leadership who all directly report to the Chancellor. We're sorry. We messed it up. We humbly apologize. We need to do better. We really wanted to make sure that people didn't sign up for this LLC just to get Ernie Davis. For, for first year students, we want to try to expand at least one more floor for 2020 first year students. I don't intend to walk away from my responsibilities as chancellor and particularly the responsibility to make this a university that models inclusion for all students. And I do not think termination or resignation of senior leaders, including those identified would be in the best interest of the university at this point. I think a freeze is unlikely. But what I also can't quarrel with is what the FERPA statute requires, and it does not define um, that sort of incident as something where we could disclose identities. Now, just like last night, today's negotiation is also being live streamed, such as TV will have coverage of the negotiations as they developed. Katie.